the beginning of everything. The Big Bang. The idea that the universe was suddenly born and is not infinite. Up until the middle of the 20th century, most scientists believed the universe was infinite and ageless. But then, something remarkable happened that changed our understanding of the cosmos forever. It was Einstein's theory of relativity and Edwin Hubble's groundbreaking discoveries that paved the way for a new understanding. Einstein's theory gave us a better understanding of gravity, and Hubble discovered that galaxies are moving apart from one another in a way that fits previous predictions. In 1964, by accident, cosmic background radiation was discovered, a relic of the early universe. This, along with other observational evidence, made the Big Bang the accepted theory in science. Since then, improved technology, like the Hubble telescope, has given us a pretty good picture of the Big Bang and the structure of the cosmos. Recent observations even suggest that the expansion of the universe is accelerating. But how did this Big Bang work? How can something come from nothing? Let's explore what we know. First of all, the Big Bang was not an explosion. It was all space stretching everywhere all at once. The universe started very, very, very small and quickly expanded to the size of a football. The universe didn't expand into anything. Space was just expanding into itself. There are no borders or outside to the universe. It is all there is. In this hot, dense environment, energy manifested itself in particles that existed only for the tiniest glimpses of time. Quarks and gluons played a crucial role in the formation of matter and energy. Matter won over antimatter, leaving us with almost all matter and very little antimatter. Quarks began forming new particles called hadrons, like protons and neutrons. The universe continued to expand, and as it grew larger, it began to cool down. Neutrons decayed into protons, and the first atom, hydrogen, was formed. During a period known as the Dark Age, there were no stars, and the hydrogen gas didn't allow visible light to move around. But soon, gravity started clumping the hydrogen gas together, forming stars and galaxies. Their radiation dissolved the stable hydrogen gas, allowing visible light to pass. Finally, there was light. Stars and galaxies illuminated the cosmos, creating a vast and beautiful universe. But what about the part we didn't talk about? What happened right at the beginning? This part can be defined as the Big Bang, and it's still a mystery. Our current tools and understanding of natural laws break down. To unravel this enigma, scientists are working tirelessly to unify Einstein's relativity and quantum mechanics. Yet despite our progress, there are still unanswered questions. Were there universes before our own? Is this the first and only universe? What started the Big Bang? We don't know, and perhaps we may never fully comprehend it. But what we do know is that the universe, as we know it, started here and gave birth to particles, galaxies, stars, the Earth, and us. We are not separate from the universe. We are part of it. We are the universe's way of experiencing itself. Let's keep asking questions and seeking answers. Who knows what incredible discoveries lie ahead? Until there are no more questions to ask, let's embark on this cosmic journey together. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel Study Room 26 for more fascinating insights into the wonders of the universe.